A definite spring pattern has been taking over our weather here in New Jersey as every couple days we have these wet weather makers. A soggy Sunday's on tap for everybody. In addition to that, our temperatures are going to be swinging all over the place. So I would definitely hold off on planting anything as we definitely do have more frost on the horizon. We got this wet weather maker that's going to be running through the area Sunday into maybe early Monday morning, but high pressure builds in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't see any issues for this upcoming week, at least for the front part of it. 60s through the weekend here in eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey, 70s to the south and west and 50s to the north. Look at this. The warmth kind of retreats to the north through April 2nd. Average temperatures across our area, but I do expect the warmth to ultimately win out. But that pendulum is going to swing in an extreme direction, shy of 40 possible by the end of this upcoming week. For Jersey Matters, I'm Nor'easter Nick. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. A New Jersey boy who was born deaf because of a genetic disease is now also starting to lose his sight. But his family is not losing hope, and they've started a challenge to help you and others understand the condition. Our Jennifer Marin has Zachary's story. Jennifer. Eight-year-old Zachary Root was born with Usher syndrome, a condition that could one day take his sight. His family is hoping that this serial challenge will help raise awareness for the condition and one day make a difference. Hello, people out there. Zachary Root is only eight years old, but he's already dealt with more than most kids his age. Zachary was born deaf, and that was a huge shock to our family. We never knew anyone with hearing loss. Shortly afterward, Rachel and her husband Jared learned about cochlear implants. Zachary underwent surgery for them at only seven months old. And then at eight months old, he heard for the first time, and it was a miracle. Uh, yeah. Hi, Zachary. <laughs> Oh. Everything that every parent takes for granted became amazing to us. But their battles weren't over. As he got older, I would start to go in at night and I was like, he's just not seeing me. The family ran some tests and realized Zachary had a condition called Usher syndrome type 1F. It resulted in his death at birth and may one day take his sight. He's already lost his peripheral vision. But despite life's obstacles, Zachary's personality lights up a room. Is it on? It is it's on. on. Connecting, connecting. <laughs> to help find a cure, Zachary and his family came up with the Usher 1F Serial Challenge. And we want you to know what it could be like for Zachary if we can't find a cure. To complete the challenge, people have to blindfold themselves and try to make a bowl of cereal. As you can see, it's a whole lot of spilling. Plus, the occasional innovative use of a mask. The blindfold is normally my mask. Usher syndrome is a, a, a rare syndrome, so having our serial challenge go viral and spread the awareness and the information it just means everything to us. And viral, it's gone, whether it's people he knows. I am doing this for my friends. Complete strangers and even professional athletes. Hi, Zachary. It's Miles Wood. I'm the support makes the Roots feel optimistic, but they're not the only ones. David Corey is one of the scientists working on a cure. He says they've replicated Usher 1F in mice, and they've already been able to save their hearing. Now, they're working on stopping the vision loss. Before it goes into a human, there are a lot of studies that have to be done to make sure that the therapy is both effective and safe. We hope that might happen in five years. It might be longer. It might be 10. The Roots say it's a race against time to save their son's vision. And the response to this challenge is making it just a little bit easier. Every last video means so much to us and brings joy to our family. It really does. And it's been incredible to watch. Now, if you'd like to help find a cure for Usher syndrome, you can make a donation by visiting usher-syndrome.org. Reporting in North Caldwell, for Jersey Matters, I'm Jennifer Marin. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, Zachary. My commentary is next.